right? Point B to point D, right? So now we are going to draw point B to point D. So this is point B to point D. All right, so one is at uh, 291. So this is my 291, okay, 291.667. And the other one is 208. I need to draw a shorter line. That's what I'm trying to do now. So this is 208.333, right? So we know that at a point that is going to intersect. So I'm going to call this distance from here to here. This will be my x, okay? And the entire height, we know that the height from here to here, right? We know the distance from here to here. Right, we are aware that this is 1.8 inches. Okay, so same thing, uh, gradient. Is equal to delta y over delta x. Right, so the change in uh, y now is equal to my x over my delta x is 208.337. Okay, so this will be equal. And then the, the height, the entire height is 1.8. And then this is equal to 208.337 plus by 291.667. So therefore, x is equal to 1.8 times 208.337 divided by 208.337 plus by 291.667, close the bracket. Is equal to 0 0.75 inches for point D. Okay, 0 point uh, inches from point D. Okay, did I write from point A before? Yeah, from point A. So from now, from here, you can more or less sketch. Okay, so we're going to sketch our uh, neutral axis. Okay. So again, this is a, a box. Four, eight, okay. So this is point A, uh, point B, and this is point D. And one, so the one of the intersection is over here, right? And the other one is 0 0.75, okay? So it's somewhere around here. From point D. Okay, so the distance, uh, the relative distance from here to here, we calculated is 0 0.5. Let me, this is not very clear, I do apologize. So from here to here, right, this is 0 0.5. And then from here to here, this is 0 0.75 inches. Okay, so this is in inches. So you now you can draw the position or where the neutral axis is intersecting. Okay, so this is how the neutral axis will intersect. And we know, right, what do we know? So anything that is above the line, okay, anything that is in this spectrum or in above the, the neutral axis, okay, so anything that is above Okay, anything that is down here, right, is in compression. Then anything that is in this side, this region, or below the line, is in tensor. Okay, so I I I rather do this simple. Then put into the equation and then you get confused, you get lost, and I get confused also. Okay. So pointless. Okay. I'm going to briefly look at another uh another example. Okay. Just I'm not going to solve it. Okay. I'm just going to look at it because it's a very uh 
unique and tricky question. Okay, unique and tricky question. And and I'll tell you why is it unique and tricky. Okay. And it boils down to analysis. Okay. So this is uh, example example number three. Okay, it boils again boils down to analysis. Okay, so I'm going to take right. So this this example is 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 tricky because of the information that they provide. Okay, that's causing the confusion, so called. Is the, again, I repeat, is the information that's provided. So what you see over here, you see a, hori uh, a horizontal load P. Hundred kilonewton is applied to the beam. Determine the largest A for which the maximum tensile stress in the beam does not exceed seventy-five megapascal. Okay. So now, question is this, okay? How many moments are there? <laughs> right? Anyone want to guess? Or if you don't want to guess, how can we find out how many? Is there a moment about the y axis? Anyone? Can you see is there a moment about y? And you will say, yes, I can see there's a moment about y. Because there's a distance what? A. Yes or no? With the distance A force multiplied by perpendicular distance, there will be definitely a moment uh, about a point uh, about the y axis. But is there a moment in along the z axis? Sorry, along the uh, yeah, along the z axis. Right? We don't know. Okay, we are we don't know. We have to check. Whether there's a moment or not, it depends on the location on the what? Central. I repeat again. Whether there's a moment or not, it depends on the central. What do I mean? Okay, so uh, MY, I'm going to write down here MY and uh, MZ right, is uh, dependent. Okay, is dependent uh, on the location of the centroid okay, on the centroid about uh, y and z axis. Okay. Now let, let me let me elaborate what's good. So we know, right? The if we look at the the so I'm gonna draw the front view. Okay, I'm gonna draw the front view. So I'm gonna draw the front view. So say this question is a tricky question. Okay. The purpose is want us to check. Okay. So 20 by 82, 4, 6, 8. Okay, and then we have 20 by 60. Two, four, uh, six. No one. Six is sorry, it's 100. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Right. Okay. So on the YY, okay, so this is our, uh, so if I were to draw the, uh, the axis that they drew, okay, so this is the Y, okay, this is the Y, and this axis over here is the Z, Right. And then 
uh, there's a load coming out and resistance A, and this is P. Okay. And we don't know, or uh, we want to find what is A. Okay, we, we want to find what is A. So now, as I said, the question asked is, how many moments are there? One or two? And it is all dependent on the position of the centroid. So from here, right, if we look at along the y-axis, okay, along the y, if we look at the y-axis, right, the left and right, right, they are symmetrical, yes or no, the left is equal to right, so we know the position of the centroid is exactly at the center, right, on, on, uh, along the horizontal axis, right? On the vertical axis, right? So this is the top and the bottom, right? By observation, we know that the Z axis is not lying on the what? On the centroid, right? Because the area at the top is greater than the area at the what? At the bottom, right? So we're going to find this out, okay? We're going to, we're going to, we, 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 we're going to find uh, IZZ. Okay, we're going to we're going to uh, uh, we're going to find wait we're going to find yeah we're going to find uh, our uh, IZZ. Okay, so if you look at IZZ, this is our width, and this is depth for ZZ. Okay, this is for ZZ. Okay, so we we we're going to do this. Okay, so we. I'm going to divide them to section one and section two. Okay, so section same thing one and two. Okay, then we have our width. Okay, so this is our width and depth. Okay. So our, our section one, the width is 100. Our, our depth is, uh, our depth is 20. Okay, so 100 times 20 is good, 2000. The other one is 600 or 60, the width. And the depth is 20. Okay, so it's 1200. And we do sum together is 32. 100 okay and then we look at our y bar and then we look at our y bar from the top so ie our datum is at the top okay so this is our y bar right so the first one will be equal to 20 divided by 2 10 the other one is 20 plus by 20 divided by 2 is equal to 30. Okay. Then we look at our W, D, Y bar. So this is equal to 20 to 3. Add another 0. So 1, 2, 0, 0 times by 30 is equal to 36,000. So this is 56,000. Right, so our y bar is equal to fifty six thousand divided by thirty two hundred. Okay, so fifty six divided by thirty two is equal to seventeen point five inches from the top. Okay. So what you see over here, right? I'm going to draw. This is our Centroid. Okay, centroid. So what I'm trying to elaborate down here for this problem, you have moment about y. Okay, because the y axis is the centroid, right? You also or we also have, right? Moment 
about z because the moment about the the central is not exactly where point align to point b okay so from here we just confirm okay, we just confirm that there will be okay from here we just confirm that there will be both my and what mz okay so be be very very careful okay whatever we do we have to check we have to check we have to check okay so what i'm going to do now i don't think i can carry on to the next section okay i'm going to stop here okay so on thursday there will be a tutorial i'm going to post the homework uh tonight i'm also going to post the solution for homework one on friday is where you have your quiz okay so like what i mentioned in week uh, number one i'm going to post it at seven in the morning and the last time you can hand in is about four o'clock three o'clock you have to assess your term test because you are given one hour if that's the case thank you for your time and your attention i will see you guys on thursday for tutorial okay anyone any question i will stay behind thank you